Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and Merry Christmas. Today we're going to create these optical Christmas abstract forms in After Effects. Uh, I'm going to right click, go on new, create a solid. Uh, I'm going to rename it as background and I'm going to choose a red color for the background, click OK, click OK. From here, go to the pen tool. This is the pen tool, click on it and make sure you're on the stroke. If you have something on the field, click here on this field text and then click on the none here and then click OK. Uh, with the stroke, you can choose a color, go with white. You can increase the stroke thickness. I'm gonna go with 20. And I'm gonna start the line with here. I'm gonna click here, press and hold shift. So it's gonna make a straight line and then end it here, press it and it's gonna create this. I'm gonna go with the selection tool and arrange this line here. From here, go to the shape layer. Basically, I'm gonna rename it, rename lines. Boom, there we go. Click on this, go to the add, add a repeater. Okay, go to the repeater. Uh, as you can see, the copies is right now, it's free. I'm gonna increase it, I don't know, to 150, something like that. Uh, and we have, as you can see right now, the lines uh, have a really big distance between them. So we're going to decrease those. So go to the transform right here, repeater one, click on it. And we got the position on 100. We're going to decrease it until uh, it's going to have like less dis distance between the lines. Uh, and from here, we're going to animate this. Okay. So I'm going to click on this and go to the transform now, click on it. And we got the position. I'm gonna activate the time watch here and make sure that this thing is right at the beginning. Okay, activate the time watch to the position, click, and I'm gonna drag this all, all the way to the end to the 10th second. And as you can see here, this line where we started, I'm just gonna click and drag, and I also gonna press and hold shift. There you go. I'm gonna drag it somewhere around here. Okay, as you can see, if I pull this back, it's gonna animate and come back to normal. Select both of these, right click, go to pre-composition, click on it. I'm gonna go with uh, pattern. I'm gonna rename it as pattern, click OK. And now I'm gonna go to the effects and presets and type in sphere. There you go, this is the sphere, just drag it on. And as you can see, it created a sphere. Uh, you got the radius right here to the effects control panel, increase it. I'm gonna go with like 350. Go to the lights, uh, go type in zero, zero, zero everywhere. We don't need this. Go to the shadows, go to the ambient, type in a hundred. And from here, we're gonna create, you know, um, the background again. So I gotta go back to the pattern, double click on the pattern. As you can see, it created, I mean, it opened in a separate tab. And I'm gonna press Control C, go to the Christmas again and press Control V, drag it down. So right now, if I add, if I hit play, as you can see, both of the lines are going into this direction, to the left. What I wanna do is switch this uh, background lines to go to the right, to the opposite side, okay? So I'm gonna bring this back, uh, go to the lines here. Actually, I'm gonna log this. Uh, this is right now the sphere, so I'm gonna rename it the sphere. There you go. I'm gonna lock the sphere, go to the lines, and we're gonna reanimate it with the, you know, where's the transform is. I'm gonna deactivate this and I'm gonna zoom out and drag this to the, well, wait a sec. I'm at the back on the background. I'm gonna go click on the line and now I'm gonna, what the hell? I actually, I'm gonna lock the background so it doesn't bother me anymore because I accidentally managed to hit it. And I'm gonna drag this to the left, so around here. We're gonna animate it like this, so click on the time watch to the position. Now we activate it and drag this to the opposite. And from here, I'm gonna drag it and press shift and go back to the original. I'm gonna zoom in and let me see. And now it rolls perfectly. So yeah, this is how you make this uh, beautiful optical illusion. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.